my god. This boy Marquez knows how to act like a fucking baby when he loses. He can't fight news here. And the latest from Juan Manuel Marquez, the latest excuse, because he's had a load of excuses for why he lost this fight. He's had a load of, first he says it's the judges. For, you know, first he said, oh, it's the judges. Then, then he's like, oh, you know, we're in Las Vegas. I, I need a knockout to win, you know. The judges just hate me, you know. And, and now it's, you know, I felt I won the rounds. And, and, and the ref, it's the ref now because he didn't uh, call, he didn't make any uh, warnings to Tim Bradley for using his head. Now, now he says Bradley's using his head. Ridiculous. Ridic you know, he could have said that in the post-fight interview. He never said that. He could have said that plenty of times. But now he comes out uh, and says, you know what? He was using his head. But but this is the quote. I felt I won rounds one, three, and four clearly. And you didn't even watch the tape. He admits he didn't watch the tape, yet he he, he feels he won these rounds so clearly. You know, it's, it, this is ridiculous. You know, it's one thing to, to be in the ring and be like, yeah, I thought I won. But it's another thing to, to watch the tape and, and really see what happened, you know. Ruzan Provodnikov said the same thing, you know, yeah, I thought I won the fight. And then he saw the tape, and then he, he really manned up and said, you know what, Tim Bradley's a great champion, but I thought I lost. You know, how, how special is that? You know, he's truly an honest man with an honest heart. And I think even if Marquez saw the tape and saw that he was outboxed, I still think he would lie to himself just because of the way he's he's acted so far. I still think he would just lie to himself and say, you know what, I thought I won clearly. I, I truly believe that. Uh, but moving on, he said he thought he won rounds one, three, and four clearly, and then I think I won from the ninth to the last round. Now remember, so he admits he lost the middle rounds, right? So, yeah, I agree. You can give him round one. I think round three and four, he lost round three or round four. Both of those were close rounds. If he was wrong about that, he it's it's at least a draw, right? And that's where that's really what it comes down to. He didn't win the fight. I think that if you're being super generous to Marquez, you have it a draw. But this boy did not win the fight. And uh, I'm just going to go on with the quote. Even though he finally hit me back at the end of the 12th round, I still think I won the round. We have to sit down and watch the fight calmly and try to analyze it, and then we will give our score and see how it compares to the judges. I don't know if the referee was watching out for Bradley's head, but in the first and second rounds, Bradley gave me at least four headbutts, and the referee did not see them, or he would assist me as I requested him to do in the, in the dressing room. Now, if he didn't see them, how do you expect him to call the punches, to, to call them a headbutt? And if, you know, it's like, he says he got headbutted, but no one saw the headbutts. <laughs> no one saw four headbutts in the first and, and second round. It's ridiculous. So, you know, just more excuses. Both Marquez brothers have done this in the past, and both of them have a history of not taking decisions very well, and even Nacho Berestein. You know, I you can you can check out my video, Nacho Berestein, on the... The Bradley Marquez decision, um, I, I outline it all right there where Nacho Berestein just can't handle a decision loss. He can't handle it. Unless, you know, in the Mayweather situation, it, you couldn't even argue because he was losing so badly. But in this case, where it's eight rounds to four, he just can't take a clear-cut decision loss. And that's what it is, guys. Uh, Marquez, more excuses cries like a bitch. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, who out there actually thinks Marquez won? What rounds do you think he won? Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to rescore the fight and explain how I judged it. And then y'all can criticize me. Because you know what? In terms of judging, and when I was a younger, uh, you know, really into boxing, trying to learn uh, the styles and stuff, I would constantly judge fights. I judge the toughest fights. I judge uh, De La Hoya Trinidad like three times. I judge Pernell Whitaker De La Hoya. And I could see it where 
both guys are winning. I would see both sides, and then I would, you know, have to analyze who really won the round. So, or, you know, the multiple rounds in the fight. So, overall, I think that's something that needs to be done. Uh, in, in terms of the boxing fan base, they got to learn how to judge fights, and they got to really sit down over controversial decisions, say like a Pacquiao Bradley, and really judge it and see how they see it um, without, you know, just by looking, not, re don't listen to the commentators, just look at what's happening in the ring and you be the judge, you know, and actually score at 10-9 on every round and see how you have it. But overall, let me know what you guys think it is what it is. Peace out, take care.